Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the NCAA Division Three Women's Soccer Championship first round. Opening game here tonight at Paul McGinley Field at Trinity University, San Antonio, Texas. It is the Trinity Tigers as the hosts. They are taking on the Pomona Pizza Sage Hens of Ca Claremont, California. So Trinity, of course, coming into this game a 20-0-1 record, undefeated. They're taking on the Pomona Pizza Sage Hens, 13-2. And three. Both teams have named an unchanged lineup heading into this one. We'll start with Trinity unchanged. Lewis, McRae, Wickham, Everts, Newland, Campbell, Zingleman, Stafford, Sheridan, Bosco, and Meyer. Pomona Pizza also unchanged. Maurice, Prosnitz, Hussema, Deutz, Mandel, Gray, Veneciano, Trap, Ku, Kim, and Hong. It is a much colder day than this time last week when we were getting underway with the uh, conference tournament, where we were in the mid 80s. We are now, I think we're in the low 50s right now. It's very, it's much, much colder. Uh, teams from Southern California and from Texas, not super used to this cold weather. So it's gonna be an interesting game to see how that impacts things. Should lead to a lot more running though. There won't be much stress about the heat wearing people out because it's so cold so going to be an interesting one as the uh, as the teams finish up their preparations here I see the referee wearing a black armband I'll try and get to the to the bottom of that one for you see if we can uh, give a tribute to whoever that is for but it is certainly a uh, cold. I don't want to say unseasonably cold. It is mid-November after all. It should be cold. But uh, a little chilly out here. Paul McKinley Field usually pretty windy. Not so much today which I think the teams will be happy with because it's going to cut how cold the weather is. And so, of course, William Hale, our uh, centre referee today has uh, been involved in USL Championship games and of course San Antonio, Texas hosting the USL Championship final tomorrow night. Uh, San Antonio FC taking on Louisville City in that one. Uh, not too far from here, just up the road, Toyota Field. Of course, the team that wins this won't be able to see it because they will be playing at the same time. But it's NCAA tournament time, so the NCAA logos adorn Trinity Tigers jerseys. So, Pomona Pizza won the toss. They are in the all blue. They'll be going from left to right on your screen. Trinity in the all right. They'll be going from all white. They'll be going from right to left on your screen as we get started here. First possession to Trinity. Played back to the keeper early. These two teams did play in the tournament last year. It was a rematch. So this is a rematch of the second round. It was a penalty win for Trinity University. Advanced on penalties after a 1-1 draw. Uh, two teams have played a few times. 1-2-1 one, and one record the Sage Hens have. So Trinity 1-2, Sage Hens have 1-1, one, one, and there was a draw. That draw, of course, is the shootout as we have an early corner here for the Tigers. The uh, last time the Sage Hens beat the Tigers was 1991, the first time these two teams played each other. A corner kick for Trinity far side. They scored early in the conference semi-final last week. I'll be looking to do the same here as the ball swings in. Partially cleared. Trying to get the ball back. Shot goes wide there from Ilsa Newland. Early chance, but the shot goes wide. And a goal kick. Ball sent in. Controlled, but possession already seeded back to Trinity. Double team works out for Pomona Pizza. The Sage Hens on the run now. Moving it down the left, but it's well read. Trinity cut the ball out. It looked like it was in the back. Referee agrees with me. And it will be a free kick for the Sage Hens. Of course, Pomona Pizza, it is a combined college teams of Pomona and Pizza. So they form a one team together. 
They're in pretty good form. They've won their last four. They're coming in after beating their huge rivals, CMS, in a Claremont rivalry. It was their third straight SCIAC championship. They've done well in this tournament, made the semi-finals in 2019. Long way to go to that. A few weekends, but they'll be looking to get off to a good start here. Doing well now on possession. It's cut out. Of course, they say they're doing well, and it's cleared away instantly. Might have to take the blame for that one. A decent uh, Seichen's crowd here, too. You can see him on the far side there. Ball sent long. It's going to be claimed well by the keeper there. Naomi Maurice from Iowa City, Iowa. As I say, Chance Baker run upright. Cleared away by Trinity, but only as far as Deutz. She sends it long. Looks to find Mandel. Just can't control it. Trinity trying to regather. Good ball forward. That's claimed by Stafford. And can't keep it in place. So it goes out for a throw for the Sage Heads. Only team in the world that has the Sage Hen as their mascot. If that ever comes up in pub trivia for you, you're welcome. Well blocked there by the Tigers. But it's still Sage Chen's ball here. Playing it back. Looking to build up. Open up some more space. Was a little condensed there on the right. Good turn. Good strength though. It'll stay as a Pomona Pizza ball. Going wide left here. Cutting inside. Play through the middle. Cleared away again by Trinity. Strong header. There for Taylor Valenciano. Looking to play it into the box, but it's cut out. The clearance is shanked, though. So this could stay as a good opportunity for the Sage Hens. It does. And good chance to get the ball into the box. A challenge there, but it's missed the player and the ball. The Trinity might be fortunate there. Could have given away a penalty if that caught the player. Well, would have given away a penalty if that caught the player, because that's how it works. Ball swung into the box. Cleared away again by the Tigers. And now well clear. Runner coming left. That looks like Bosco. Bosco on the ball. Looks to play it forward for the tall Kira Stafford. Tigers turning. Strong run here from Bosco on the left. Call from Dylan Harrison is to take her on. She tries but can't get past her. It's played out wide to keep the ball in and keep the ball in play. No panic there. Strong run, powerful run from Hannah Mandel. Sends it long, but it's too long, and that'll be claimed by the keeper. It's a shame. It was a really good run there from Hannah Mandel. Powerful pacey. Up the win, and the Tigers now will reset. Five minutes gone here, still scoreless. Cut out by the Sage Hens. Mandel is making another run right if she could see her, but she cannot. So it's going to go back. Reset here from Pomona Pizza. And she's missed the ball. Ball played behind Spencer Deutz there. Unfortunate for the Sage Hens. That was a good passage. That was starting to look good for them. So a throw in for the Tigers now. Finds Bosco. Bosco plays it back for Stafford. Cleared away. Little miscommunication there as two players go for it. That will be some good work from Wickham to regather. But it's come back out for the Sage Hens. Mendel on the ball now. Challenged by Zingelman. Good triangles there from the Sage Hens. We'll work it out. Get play, but Stafford still on the ball. Still challenged. Plays it round. It's tough work here from Bailey Meyer. Plays it back to the keeper who will clear. Trinity can't get first ball on the Sage Hens. We'll get it on the deck. Good run here again from Mandel, but the control is heavy from Hasama. Now another run here up the left from Stafford. Stafford plays it into the middle and finds Sheridan. Sheridan playing it all the way back now as the Tigers looking to make a switch to the right wing this time. They make that switch successfully, but the Sage Hens have read it pretty easily. Goes into the box now for Stafford. Sorry, Sheridan on the ball there. That's a block, a lot of deflections. Hale calls out a corner for the Tigers. It's a corner kick here for Trinity. Another opportunity. They've had one corner already. Goal the goal opportunity came off the clearance. But it was shot wide. 
the corner here for Trinity. Swung in here by Sheridan to the keeper spilled, but that is a foul on the keeper. Too many bodies. Unfortunately, William Hale wasn't refereeing Leeds United versus Tottenham today. So if that was a Premier League game, that would have been fine. Ball was moving. Let's have a look here at the corner. Swung in close to the keeper. Oh, no, sorry, not a foul. The uh, the linesman, the assistant, called that out of play. It swung in and back out. So that was the call there. Not a foul. <laughs> I saw the uh, assistant's flag go up that I didn't see in real time. So goal kick was the decision. Not a foul on that one. Those outswingers can be difficult because you're running without a lot of space. Corners are tough because they're in they're such a tight space that if you swing it out, it's going to potentially swing out of play before it gets in and does what it wants, what you want it to do. So same thing happened there. Goes out of play for a goal kick. Good work from the assistant on the line. Flagged straight away for it. So Sage Chen's now running up the left. Ball, I think, is too heavy. Trinity just going to shepherd that out. Goal kick for the Tigers. Even match so far. Not many chances in the first 10 ish minutes. Pomona Pizza probably had the better of possession, certainly had the better of the territory. Much of the game has been played in Trinity's half, but the one, the one potential chance was a Trinity. Uh, was a Trinity throw. A bit of confusion there on the flow, but it's a Pomona Pizza throw. Bit of confusion over the throw. Basically, the decision was the ball had already gone out, so Trinity had already played the ball out before it went out further down the pitch. And so it's a Pomona Pizza throw, not a Trinity throw. That was the decision there. A bit of confusion. Both coaches asking for... Both coaching staffs asking for a... Asking for a throw. It's Pomona Pizza that got it. This is quite away. Into the middle. It's going to be Everts. Everts looks to play to Wickham. I don't know if Wickham got ahead on that. She didn't. It's cleared away by the Sage Hens. That was a chance there. Just a little bit too heavy there for Amanda Koo. Trying to clear, oh, right in. Two coup there. That's that's unpleasant, especially in the cold. That really stings. Kulo playing on, but a, a groan from both benches on that one. That is, uh, that is certainly unpleasant when that happens. Played it quick, cleared down the field, still inside. Good work there to get a body on the way there, Genevieve Gray. And a good touch there from Molly Sheridan to put it out. Good football all round here. Play it in, and just a bit touch too heavy. It's gonna go out for a Tigers throw right in front of me here. That's me behind the computer screen. Sheridan on the ball, cleared away again. Looking to find Bosco, scored a hat-trick last week, did Bosco. Played out wide right, that's Wickham on the ball. She'll swing it in, good deflection. It's going to put it out for a corner. The appeal is for a throw. Really hard for me to tell from here. So I'm going to side with the assistant who's much closer to it that it is a corner. Trinity corner, but Sage Chen's defender was certainly appealing for a throw. So another corner here. Trinity will be hoping it goes better than the last one. Same taker, though. Kira Stafford swings it in, middle of the box. Clear off the line. Great work there. I believe that was Hannah Hong on the line. Getting in the way. That's why you put booties on the post. Let's have a look at the replay here. It's an out swinger headed on the line. Oh, well. Can't quite tell. Hong certainly there. As we'll have another corner. They do the same play. Cleared away this time. Well read. By the say chance, perhaps telegraphed, falls out, blocked well. May have been blocked by her own player there. A shot from Emma Everts. 
ball out now to Bailey Meyer. Good interception by the Seychens. They'll play left. Opportunity here, but going to call it back. Good advantage there from William Hale. Has experience, of course, at professional level as a referee. Played advantage because there was an opportunity there on the break for the Seychens. But it's pulled back for the free kick and the Seychens will get going again. Ball played out right here for Deitz. She's got plenty of space to run into. They've also opened up the middle, shown in the middle, but Tigers get it away. That's going to go straight out. <laughs> Good save there from the Pomona Pizza coaching staff. <laughs> also appreciate them avoiding my uh, <laughs> equipment as well. <laughs> it goes out. And so another Tigers throw. I think she's left that as it goes around, so that will allow the Sage Hens to regather. Played back to the keeper. They're going to go long. No, plays it short. And they're running it up the left here are the Sage Hens. There's that good crowd for the Sage Hens over there with the signs. Good opportunity here left. Cleared away well by Bailey Meyer. She's been about everything defensively tonight for the Tigers. Played into the middle. Swung in, looking to find Prosnitz. Only 5-5, five five, so a difficult target to hit. Really good ball forward by Wickham to find Bosco. She's got too many players on her. Sends it back for Everts. Shot again, but it's straight at the keeper. Easy save. Keeping it scoreless here. Been into end stuff early. With the more mild weather, makes this a lot easier to play this style. Both teams really want that first goal. Of course, last year was a 1 1 draw as the Sages make a run, but it's cut in. Was a 1 1 draw last year, so first goal could be really vital. A shot going right, left here, swung into the box, just beyond everybody as it goes out for a goal kick. Decent effort, good idea, just needed to get around the ball a little more to send it more into the path of the attacker. Got kind of behind it, which sent it in between everybody, put it out for a goal kick. But the ideas are there. If you're playing a Pitts fan, that's what you want to see. It's encouraging stuff. Controlled well by Sheridan. Sheridan sending it wide right for the runners, but they're not going to get there. And that's going to be a throw for the Seychens. They'll keep running it up right, but that's going to only come out for Wickham. Poor Flick, again, wanted to get around that, just kind of helped it on its way to Wickham. But cut out well there. That's good work from Prosnitz. Played forward. But it's going to be played forward past everybody. Keeper will claim Lauren Lewis. Of course, won the uh, SCAC tournament. Defensive player of the year. Two shots on goal to zero. Comes off the body. Seychens look to be the first ones to get control on the ground. They do so. Good work there from Prostitutes again. Played out wide. Another good run there from Spencer Deutz. But it's going to go out for a throw for the Tigers. Sorry, for the Sagents. Two fouls to zero for Trinity. Swung in. Lewis comes and claims. Good work to let the ball come to her. She clears it away. The bounce helps the Sagents there. Does well. Challenge coming. Big leap there. For the Tigers to move it upfield, but there's too many blue jerseys in there. They're going to claim that. And the Seychens run it again. Deutz now on the right. Good work there from Stafford to cut inside. Too heavy a touch there for Deutz. It's cleared down. Easily cleared by the Seychens, who will gain possession again on the left. Through the middle now. Turning. There's a run here, if she can see it. Hannah Mandel on the right. She does see it. She gets possession. Good run. Good contest for the ball there. 
down in the corner. Mandel cuts inside, cleared away by the Tigers. It's only as far as Deutz. Oh, but she's miskicked it. Tigers are going to let that run. That'll happen every now and again. Just ball had some spin on it. Made it difficult for her to get the on the end of and get the pass away. So throw in for the Tigers. Finds Sheridan. Sheridan triple team, but she does manage to get the ball away. Cleared down. Looking to find Bosco. Won't do so. As Hasama will come away with it. Again, bit of forcings back right now. Bosco trying to get on the end of it. Keep it on the ground. Build something here for Trinity. Tries to get round a player, can't do so. Strong defence there. Really strong defence from Hannah Kim. Really good work. Standing strong, standing goal side. Forces a touch to be too heavy and forces them back. And now the Seychelles on the ball. Run there, it's a heavy touch. Good challenge from Hannah Mandel, but it goes out for a throw for the Tigers. It's thrown in. For McRae, scored her first collegiate goal in the conference final last week as the Tigers move right. That is Wickham, wide right there, playing it in to Everts. Everts looking to lick up with Wickham again. The challenge is missed. Wickham can get it into the box. No, sorry, Bosco finds Wickham there in the middle. That's going to be a throw for Trinity. Far side, right in front of the Pomona Pizza support. Well controlled there by Amanda Koo. Plays it back. Good chance, good run here. Really good run from Hannah Mandel. She doesn't have support though. Needs runners in the box. There's a diagonal run there coming in. It's swung in, edge of the box, but it's behind everybody this time. So we've had one in front, one behind. Shot comes, blocked. Shot goes over the bar. Uh, stuck in the tree, there it is. So, still scoreless. Through the first 20 minutes of this match. And then stuff, really. Good chance we have a look at some drone footage for you. We can get a good look at the shape from this, which is what I really enjoy about it. Sort of a 4-1-4-1 uh, for Pomona Pizza. Trinity with a 4-4-2, as has been their want throughout the season, as the goal kick is sent long. Ball played inside for Sheridan. Good work there from the Sage Hens, but again it's Trinity back on the ball through Sheridan. Goes out wide for Stafford. Kira Stafford on the ball, looks to turn her defender. Strong work from Hannah Mandel. She's been involved in a lot tonight. She felt that was a double deflection. Those calls are the worst, but that is a heavy touch and that is a throw in for Pomona Pizza. So they do end up getting that throw anyway. Those ones where there's deflection on deflection, though, are really hard for assistance to call. And so the Tigers now looking to defend the Sage Hens advancing. Bit of a heavy touch. I thought that was a handball, though. So right decision there from Charlotte Tapp to uh, not stick a boot up. She was worried about the high boot. And Josephine McRae, though, I thought handball. Not much attempt, though. So with the new reading of the rule, she didn't make an unnatural silhouette. So you're not going to call that these days. Really good follow-up there from Eliana Prosnitz to get on the end of that. She's run all the way from in front of me into the midfield there. It's a strong run, good run. And she made the challenge to get the ball. Unfortunately, she lost it there. But it's a bad ball from Trinity. And the Sage Hens will reset... As the sun sets below the field now, so whole field now in shade. That's a really good pass there from Ku. Shall a tap on the ball now. Trinity now moving it forward again. They're looking right. They'll often look right when they're running this side. So they'll go right in the first half, often go left in the second half. 
Good work there for the Sageheads to come through, use their strength to gain the ball. And now a chance up their left. Through ball, but it's too heavy. Going to be easy for Lauren Lewis to claim. As Pomona Pizza gets ready to make a change. That's going to be Isla Birch coming on. And so there it is, sub straight away. Isla Birch, junior forward from Orinda, California. Making her 17th appearance of the season. She is replacing Amanda Koo. Been involved in a lot, Amanda Koo. She's a sophomore midfielder from San Mateo, California. She had a big role this year. For the Sage Hens. Bigger than in her previous season. That's gone out for a Trinity throw. They shaped it, but let it go. Maybe Taylor Campbell getting ready for a sub there. Fresh legs of Isla Birch there, getting involved early. Appeal for a push in the back from the Tigers bench, not doing. Stafford called for a block there. It's going to be an indirect free kick. And so, but you can't obstruct. You can't stop a player from moving. You can't stand up to stop them moving. You can attack and defend if they have the ball, but if they don't have the ball, you can't do that. So that we should have been an indirect free kick, but the referee didn't have his arm up for it. Maybe he called it a full-blown foul, that one. So ball comes out. It's a poor free kick, but it's a poor ball from Pomona Pizza. Pomona Pizza now on the ball here on the right-hand side. Swings it into the middle to find Venanciano. It's a high ball looking to find the new player, but it's cleared away by Trinity. It just kind of held up. The breeze can get a bit bigger up in the air here, so may have held up in the breeze. Goes into the middle for Venanciano. Venanciano finds Deutz. Deutz sends it forward for Birch. Birch goes down, but it's one again. Really strong work there from Prosnitz. She's been all over the park. Decent ball, but the run just couldn't come. I think she tripped over her own feet for a second there. And a goal kick, sorry, not a goal kick, just a relieving clearance for the Tigers. And so substitutions getting ready for the Sage Hens. It's going to be Taryn Kaneko getting ready to come on alongside Angelia Nugenhali. Getting ready to come on. That is just beyond. And that's going to go out for a Tigers throw. So if you're not familiar in college soccer, can't sub on your opponent's throw. Has to be your throw unless your opponents are also substituting. So that's why the subs won't happen yet. Also unlimited substitutions, but in the first half you can't come back in. It's not an interchange until the second half. So controlled here by the Sage Hens. Trinity trying to get bodies in the way. Can't do so. There's a shot opportunity there from Charlotte Tapp. But unfortunately for Charlotte Tapp, so she's off balance. She's leaning back when she takes the shot. Makes it really hard to get the aim you need, but also makes it hard to get power behind it. And there was another substitution there. That was also number five for the Sage Hen. Shea Reefert, senior midfielder from Chicago. Plays at centre mid typically. She's been involved a lot more this season, playing her 18th game. So Trinity on the ball. Goes out of play. Oh. <laughs> Hits that poor fan up in the crowd. Seemed to be okay though. Just beyond as the Tigers will try to find some players there. Bosco had run on but got back quick enough. Big run here from Stafford as well on the left. The through ball is going to find her. It's just a question of if it stays in. She sends it in. Keeper spilled it, but she gets down quickly. Good recovery there from Maurice. Senior goalkeeper from Iowa City. Was on the SCIAC all-academic team. So she's also good off the park. Tigers getting ready to make a change as well. Boss along, it's going to be Emily Hayes getting ready to come on. Controlled by Bosco. 
Looks to turn, but can't do a quick turn. May play back. Turn slowly. Player comes on. The call from the teammates. Has to play it back. Sometimes you just have to. It's your only option. Pomona Pizza won't mind. Ball is long. Over the head of Wickham. Sent away Trinity looking to control again. It's going to hinge a lot on who gets possession of this on the ground. Sent away. Really getting stuck in there, the Sage Hens. Ball goes out wide. Finds Stafford. Stafford on the ball. Spins around her player. Sends an attempted through ball, but that's just going to run out for a goal kick. And the substitution will be made. So Emily Hayes, junior midfielder from Allen, Texas, comes on. Business major. We can see that sub being made from our eye in the sky there. Kira Stafford, the player off. They'll lose a little bit of pace and a lot of bit of height with that change. 17 minutes gone. Still scoreless here between Trinity and Pomona Pizza here. NCAA first round. I'm Chris Hockman with you. Goal kick only finds Wickham. Big appeal for a push at the back. Not given. William Hale says play on. Ball sent long, but it's too long. Going to be gathered by the keeper. Hale does play a good advantage and does like to play on. Likes to let the game flow. So, Which is what we want. We don't want a lot of stoppages. Ball sent long. But it's sent to exactly where nobody is. So Pomona Pizza will get use of this. And they'll make a run up the left. There's a good run there as well from Tap. And we will have a substitution. Sage Heads. Bringing on Summer Hasama. The junior defender from Rancho Palacios Verdes. 19th appearance of the season. She did play ODP, so certainly was a highly rated youth prospect not that long ago. Ball finds Sheridan. I think comes off her back, but she'll control there. The run from Wickham. The run from Bosco was too long, so she had to keep playing. Big appeals from the bench for Trinity. Turned well there. Was Birch and a foul. So that'll be a free kick for the Say Chance. Harrison not happy with the defense there. So Say Chance will get on it. Run across the park from Tap. She plays it back. Was Kim on the ball? She played it forward but lost out. Trinity going to try and keep this in. They don't do so. So it is a throw in for Pomona Pizza. As that's the end of the first half hour. Still scoreless here between the Trinity Tigers and the Pomona Pizza Sage Hens. Four shots to three. I think that reflects how even this has been. Only Trinity have had shots on target, 2-0. As Pomona Pizza now look to build on the left again. Touch was just a little heavy there from Mendel, which allowed Trinity to get a touch on. Forces the Sage Hens backwards. I think a switch would be a good move here. No sooner do I say it than they start the switch. Good little touch there. Takes it away from Alana Wickham. Through ball comes. There's an ongoing run. Good run there. From Nugahali. Control turn. Looks to find Nugahali again on the right. She's going to get on the end of that. Cleared away though. So that's a throw for the Seychens again in a good position here. In their attacking third. Good effort there defensively from Josephine McRae. Ball goes out wide again. Swung into the box. In the middle, there's a touch. Claimed by the keeper. A little bit of momentum bringing players together. Nothing in it. Crowd not happy about it, but you can't just stop suddenly. You still have momentum. Of course, we saw a similar incident at the USL Championship uh, Conference Final last week. And then if you're wondering, not a back pass. Has to be off the foot to be a back pass. So Tigers regrouping here on the right again. Played out wide. There's some bodies there. It's going to need some help. I th think she might run out of space. Good challenge there 
from the Sage Hens and we have a substitution for the Tigers. It's going to be Bosco coming off. And Hannah Khan coming on. Freshman forward from Southlake, Texas. She was in the UAL State All-Tournament team earlier this year as a high school student. The very start of this year because that's when the high school plays its plays its playoffs. Controlled, turned. So immediately involved after coming on. It's cleared away. That's a throw. Dylan Harrison wants a foul, but that was absolutely all ball. And he's even further away than I am, though. Throw in comes. Tigers touch is heavy. Really great work. Really clever work. I believe that was Hannah Kim coming forward to clear that away. She did grip her knee after that, though. A little concerning. Sachens will use William Hale as a screen. Send it right back to the keeper. Played forward for Venenciano. Venenciano turns. There's runners right. If she could spot it. Well defended there from Hayes. But it's a foul. Perhaps a handball. A chance here for the Sage Hens to build something. Played back to the keeper. Maurice plays it forward now. Out wide left. That is Kim. So Sagehead's looking to build something on the left. Good through ball. Well cut out though by the Tigers defence. Who will make a run with the space they had. Well cut in. Good work there from Isla Newland to cut in. Sagehead's play it forward. And there is a foul there. So it's going to be a free kick again for Pomona Pizza in their own half. Seychen's reading another substitution here. Kelsey Shintaku. So controlled here by Birch. It's heavy. Tigers cut in. Good little cut in there from Everts. But there will be a foul for the Tigers. It's going to be back just in their own half. Sorry, just inside the Sage Hands half. They play right. So all 10 outfielders for Trinity in the Pomona Pizza half. Cleared away, but only as far as McRae. She did score last week. Curls one, looks to find the runner coming wide right. Good work defensively. Some folks might say that she didn't necessarily have to. I think she did. Runner's coming. She does well to turn. Clear it away. Puts it out for a corner. You'd rather have the corner than the run clear on goal. So corner kick here for the Tigers. The usual corner take is off. So it's Emily Hayes to take it in lieu of Kira Stafford. Another outswinger. Only finds the defense, but it's only cleared as far as Abby Schneider, who shot, just misses. And that will be a goal kick for Pomona Pizza. So substitution's coming. Ella Endo. Let's have a look at the replay, though. Edge of the area. Gets behind it, gets a lot of power on it, but just puts it over the bar. She's just gotten two under the ball. A little too much power, carries it over the bar. Keeps things scoreless as we get going. So those substitutions, that's Ella Endo coming on. Sophomore midfielder from Minneapolis. And Kelsey Shintaku, junior midfielder from Honolulu. Both part of the all-academic team for the conference last year. Ball goes out of play for a throw for Trinity. Eight and a half minutes to go here. First half. Trinity nil. Pomona Pizza nil. As the Sage Hens headed away. Played forward. That's going to be cut out, though. 
by Bailey Meyer. It goes back for the keeper. The call is to get players up to try and spring an offside trap here, Pomona Pizza. Tigers on the ball, played long. Headed down well. Good header there from Valenciano. She got up well. Wickham on the ball now. A foul just a little in the back. Shaped to play quickly but didn't do so. So we're about to have another change there. May have caught on the mic. Swung into the box. Ty, it's hanging. Can't get enough power behind the header, though, from good defence. A really good work there from Naomi Maurice to come off a line quickly. She springs it quickly, perhaps looking for a counter here, but I think Trinity's covered it well. Played back. Long ball up the middle, but that's going to be too easy for Trinity to deal with, unfortunately, for the save chance. Hannah Mandel had shaped it one right, but the ball went through the middle. So it doesn't work out. Trinity reading some two subs as well. And so we will have subs here. So three subs on for Trinity. That's Maya Azimi, who did score the winning penalty in this matchup last year. She comes on. Erin Heath coming on. And we also have Cassie Bowers coming on. She's a big fan of Neymar. So throw in here from Ilsa Newland. Flicked on. Decent ball. The fouls going to Pomona Pizza. Fans on the far side aren't happy about it. But when you flail your arms around, there's always a decision for the referee to make, and that's what's happened there. It's always easier to make those decisions against the uh, attacky side too. But you can't you can't move your arms around like that and expect to not get ping. Ball goes out. For the Tigers. Controlled here. Stays on it. Fresh legs there of Bailey Meyer. Sends it out wide. Blocked by the Sage Hens. A bit of miscommunication there from the Tigers. Not too much damage done. They'll just reset a little. Go move out wide right. Beats the defender, but can't beat the second defender. Looking to turn. Strong defending there, really good work. Really good defending there. That was Kelsey Shintaku. Standing strong, staying goal side. It's exactly what you want a defender to do. Keeps it scoreless. Five and a half minutes to play in the first half. Trinity head it forward. But there's no one there to run onto it. Say chance. Will Queer though. Emily Hayes was lurking. <laughs> Trying to get on the end of it. Couldn't do so. Throw in for the Tigers. Played short. We'll swing it in. There's Bailey Meyer on the ball, but it's cleared away by the Say Chance. They'll look to try. And push up, try and swing an offside trap. Maya Azimi is still offside. They've trapped her off. She's on now, though. So the Tigers playing wide right, trying to find Azimi. Good run in there from Hannah Kim. And that will be a foul against the Tigers. Referee's kept his cards in his pocket so far. I don't know how much longer. That is going to last. Eventually, there'll have to be a persistent infringement, Yellow. So, play on. Pomona Pizza. Switch the play to the right. Switching it back here. Playing it along the defense. Trinity won't mind that. Hard to score from this far out. Attempt to turn. There is a runner here, though. In Nugahali. Nugahali making a one right. If they can see her, they have, but the ball's a little soft, so she can't continue her run. Beautiful triangle there between Nugahali and Birch. Birch is there wide right. Plays it in the box. The touch is heavy. That allows the Trinity Tigers to recover, and it clears it out for a throw for Pomona Pizza. 
Really great work there. Beautiful one-touch passing from the Sage Hands. Throw in from Nugahali, edge of the area. Tigers get on the end of it. It's blocked. They'll keep it. They'll look to play it around, but nobody was there anyway for that ball. So it's out for a goal kick for Trinity. Three minutes to play here in the first half. There was a chance there, but the run wasn't big. Nugahali gets on it, puts it away. Blocked. Trinity will keep possession, though. That's a shanked clearance. So that is a throw for the Sage Hens. In a good position here. Nugahali over it again to take the throw. Thrown in, but dealt with. It's always frustrating when you have a throw in and you instantly give it away. Because you just have so many more options on a throw than a free kick. You're not typically playing it into a contest like that. So frustrating there for the Sage Hens to give that one away. Played into the middle. Good control. Nugahali wide right if they can see her. Another good run there from Birch. But just doesn't come out. Azimi, though, has to come all the way back to get on the end of that. Really good work from Valenciano. Plays it shot wide. And we will have a goal kick here for the Tigers as we approach the final two minutes of the half. Still scoreless here. As sent out over my head. Played back. Tigers now. Looking to build. They'll try and switch. They usually try and play up the right. Played forward. Easily dealt with by the Sage Hens. Blocked. Good defensive work there from the Tigers. High press. Just not quite working out. Deflected by the Sagehens. Big run. Big contest here. 50-50 ball. But it's gathered by Birch. Sends it into the middle. Peel for a handball. But it's bounced off ahead. And she was appealing for it. That allowed her to turn in so much space. As the ball runs. We enter the final minute of the half and so throwing perhaps a little too much remonstrating with the officials there not enough uh, playing football as the throw in comes over Azimi's head she's fairly tall and they've switched the throw they've given that completely up to Tigers 40 seconds to go one last chance but they're going to have to get the ball in the box quickly she tries to get it in really good strong work there defensively from the Tigers and they will just hoof it clear here. Try and kill this out, get to the half a slip. Good opportunity here for Azimi. Sends it out wide right, cut out well. Really good work there from Kim again. Sorry, Kadeko. Ball set out wide. If they swing something here, it could be interesting finish. Long ball, you can't let those bounce. Tigers get on the end of it, hoof it clear. That will be half time. So half time here at Paul McGinley Field. Trinity Tigers nil. Pomona Pizza Sage Hens nil. Been entertaining stuff, end to end football all round. As the sides, we'll have a break for 15 minutes before we head into the second half. It's been really entertaining stuff. We hope you'll join us here for the second half. It's been a really entertaining match. Thanks very much. We'll have a look at the uh, first half stats here. Five shots to four. Trinity lead that stat. Two shots on target for the Tigers. The only ones on target for the match. That also means two saves, though, for the Sage Hens. Eight fouls to two. You sense at some point the cards are going to have to start coming out with that disparity in the foul count. No offsides yet. Five corners to zero for Trinity. So we'll see you back here in about 14 minutes for the second half. Thanks very much.
For more than 150 years, Trinity University has celebrated human inquiry. Our innovative curriculum is rooted in a distinctive blend of the liberal arts and sciences. Students and faculty hone creative curiosity by answering questions and questioning answers. In a supportive, interdisciplinary environment, they seek ways to build bridges and make connections. And with intentional meaning and purpose, they are driven by a sense of duty to themselves and to the world. Add in opportunities for undergraduate research, experiential learning, and nationally recognized pre-professional programs in business, communication, healthcare, education, and entrepreneurship, you get the full Trinity experience. The liberal arts plus. And while this experience may end with a Trinity degree, it's just the beginning of a lifetime of inspired exploration and perpetual discovery. I'm San Antonio Mayor Rod Nuremberg. I am a Trinity University alum, and I want you to know about my passion for these two vibrant communities. My alma mater is now a nationally recognized liberal arts university, offering fully integrated arts, humanities, STEM, and professional programs. Grounded in the liberal arts, Trinity graduates students who think critically, act meaningfully, and contribute confidently throughout their careers. As for San Antonio, Trinity is an oasis in the heart of a city that serves as a cultural bridge to the Americas. We are a diverse community that values inclusion and welcomes intellectual curiosity and spirited debate. We're a city that challenges convention and welcomes new ideas. Great things are happening at Trinity University in San Antonio and through all our connections to our multicultural world. Join me in being part of this exciting moment. Welcome back. Good little view here of the beautiful campus here at Trinity University. San Antonio downtown there in the distance, Tower of the Americas. As we swing over the whole campus, we're going to come around and get going on our game. Second half here in just a little bit. Still scoreless between Pomona Pizza and Trinity. Been a really thrilling end-to-end -end game. Not a ton of chances. I think uh, both sides would admit that. As we get closer, swinging over the pool. So not a ton of chances for either side, but it's been entertaining. I will note that it has cooled down a little bit in half time. It's gonna be the theme of the night, I think, getting gradually colder and colder and colder. And here we are, swinging back over to Paul McGinley Field. Good look at the baseball and softball fields there as well. And a beautiful look at Scenic 281. And we're back. So I did speak to the referee at halftime, the black armband. I know I told you I'd find out. Um, local referee that uh, they've worked with, Jim Chand, is who that is in honor of. So just wanted to give that a shout out um, to Jim Chand and to their family. As we get underway for the second half, Pomona Pizza nil, Trinity University nil. I'm Chris Hockman with you for the second half here of the NCAA Women's Soccer Championship first round. As Trinity get the ball early and move left. Opportunity there, but goes away. Goal kick 
for the Seychelles. Not a patient build up. It's been the method of the day for the Seychelles. They haven't rushed it, they haven't tried to hoof the ball away to produce something. They've just built up, passed, worked it forward, and they've had some chances. Of course, best chance of the first half, cleared off the line for the Seychelles to keep it scoreless. As the Tigers will work it up the left. So that, what I was talking about the first half, Tigers now switch to play up the left. Cutting inside, support comes, shot right at the keeper though. And now played quickly. This has been something that the Seychelles have done with their goalkeeper, release the ball quickly. Try and spring a counter here, good run. Really nice work there. Good ball, but it's just a little over the top. Plays it out wide. That finds Birch. Defender standing strong. Cut it back for Hasama. She'll shoot. Looks to chip the keeper. Does so. And has crossed the line. It is over the line. 1 0. Sagehens take the lead. Bounces down off the post. So you may have spotted there. Good refereeing. The referee looked over and pointed to their assistant. Let's have a look at the replay here. Great shot from Hasama. Bounces down off the post. That is absolutely over the line. So we get the video from inside the goal. Bounces down off the post. Over the line. Seychelles 1. Tigers 0. Pomona Pizza 1-0 up. Here, two minutes into the second half. You can't sit back on that though. There's much, much too long. But yeah, well and truly over the line. Big thanks to our crew there getting us the angle from inside the goal. So Pomona Pizza 1. First shot on target. First goal. You only need one. And now a chance. The Tigers looking to break back immediately. So we have Newland cuts inside. Couldn't make the turn. Shot, and it's an equaliser almost immediately. I've told you it's been an end-to-end -end game. It's been a goal-to-goal -goal game right there, 1-1. One, one. Pomona Pizza just couldn't deal with it. Ball bounces around. Let's have another look at this. So it's a good run there from Isla Newland. Sends it in, the touch is controlled. And the shot, player there in the middle. Really distracts the keeper, takes them away. And scores the goal. And so it is 1-1 one, one there. Less than a minute between the goals. As we're going to look at that touch there. Played into the middle. Pomona Pizza just couldn't get on it quick enough. Beautiful finish there from Wickham. She gets enough curl on it, gets around the ball. Curls it just out of the reach of the keeper. Keeper does well, gets a touch, but can only parry it into a net. I don't think you can fault the keeper there, but I'd be asking questions of the defense as a whole. Got to do better on that. But wow, 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 wow. What a start to the second half. Two goals in three minutes. Two goals, really two goals in less than a minute. It is frantic, and now there's another chance here. Player goes down, nothing doing, says Hale. Runner right, left, Sasama. Can't find her and will clear. They what's the wrong option. And the Tigers will look to gather. Gonna call the foul there. But wow, what a start to the second half here. Two goals in less than a minute. So if we get a lull, I'll go over some stats when I uh, when I get a chance. So let's have a look here. So Evelyn Hasama scored the goal. That was her seventh shot, seventh goal, I should say, of the season. No, first goal of the season. I believe that is her first collegiate goal as well, actually. So heck of a time to score your first collegiate goal there. For the junior defender. As the Sage Hens will make a run. 
So that ball goes out for a throw for the Sage Hens. Hasama with the throw. Been a busy uh, few minutes for her. So a throw now for Trinity. And the goal there for the Tigers. That was Alana Wickham, her fourth goal of the season, seventh goal of her career. Tigers will reset at the back. They're very deep. There's a big gap between midfield and attack, and it showed there. Just a really, really big gap between midfield and defense and attack, which allowed the ball to be cut out really easily by the Sage Hens, who will rebuild here and go right. Good run. She sprung the offside trap. Really great work. Runners coming, but needed to put more on that. Needed to really. Get more power behind it so it could run on to the onrushing player faster. Because it was a decent run there from East La Birch, but the power just wasn't there to find and made it really easy for Lauren Lewis to come out. But if she puts more power on that, Lewis has a decision to make. Has to decide if she's going to come for the ball or wait for a shot. But because there wasn't that much power on it, easily done. Good work here from the Sage Heads though. Right again. Runner coming. Trinity standing strong. Shot just over the bar. But this has been much, much better from the Sage Hens, producing really good attacks here early. As we have another look at this. Not cleared by the Tigers. Too focused on Endo. Lost sight of Isla Birch making another good run left there. Ball cleared away. Bounces. And the Tigers get control here. Looking to play up the right. Good flick on, but nobody's there. And it will go out for a throw in for Pomona Pizza. As a reminder, these two teams met in the tournament last year. It was 1 1 then, it is 1 1 now. Could we be in for a repeat? Could we have more of the same? Trinity on the ball. Cleared away well by the Sage Hens defend. Well organized defense here, the Sage Hens today. Trinity play it back to Laura Lewis on the ball. Plays it out wide. But that touch is heavy. It's stolen away by the Sage Hens. They have two players running on. Good ball. There'll be an appeal for a penalty. No, not really. All ball goes out for a corner. No appeals for a penalty, which I'm pretty impressed with, honestly, because there wasn't one there. And it will be a corner kick for the Sage Hens. I believe that is their first of the game. Yes, it is. First corner of the game for the Sage Hens. See if they can have more luck with it. The ball swung in here. Swung to the far post. Lauren Lewis has missed out, but she regathers. The head is just not strong enough. Heads it down, which I think is a really good idea. We'll have another look at this replay. Good angle here in the goal. Yeah, good idea there, I think, from Ella Honda. To uh, head it down. The bounce could catch Lewis out, but it's just too high. She hasn't got enough on it. Allows Lewis to recover, but dangerous signs there for the Tigers. Good effort. Hondo did really well on that, especially with all that pressure to get that shot away. Decent header, but just put it down too much, so it bounced too high. And now Trinity on the ball. Like I said, end-to-end -end stuff again here for the Tigers. Looks to turn. Ball coming out for Abby Schneider. Schneider on the right. Plays it through, but only finds the keeper. So Trinity easily playing it back to the keeper now. Both teams getting ready to make a sub. That may have been just a little too high. Schneider has to control that. It was heavy right onto her stomach there. 
as Pomona Pizza now will build something. Tigers clear it away for a throw, so a sub each way. So for Pomona Pizza, Eliana Prosnitz was involved a lot in the first half, so I'm not surprised to see her come on early. And for the Tigers, it is Reese Wallace coming on. Was involved a lot last year, junior midfielder from Oak Park. And by last year, I mean last week. Cut into the middle, but the Tigers deal with it well defensively. Shock, it's well wide. She's got too far around it, not enough power. Just sends it straight out of play for a relieving goal kick for the Tigers. As the ball goes wide left for the Tigers. That's a deflection off of Trinity. So it will be a Pomona Pizza throw. So he cleared away. Trinity now getting first use here. Goes for the shot, which I think was the wrong option there. There was a good run here from Abby Schneider, but couldn't find a wide right. Seychens will try and get it away. They don't do so if the ball comes through, but it doesn't. Well gathered by Evelyn Hasama. And say Chen's go long though, which I think is absolutely the wrong decision. I think it's getting away from their natural game. They've been playing it short, one touch football. So I think they might be getting away from the natural game. This is better though from the Say Chen's. Played out wide for Han Hong. Hong on the ball. Looks to cut outside, does well, keeps the ball in, but that touch is heavy. Tigers will shepherd it out, and it is a goal kick. So goal kick for the Tigers here. Big passage of pressure there, so they'll relieve. They'll look to go left again. That's what they often do when they run this direction. Blocked. Say Chen's get the ball back. They'll play wide right, heavy touch. Allows Trinity to do it. That might have come back into her face. It was unpleasant. Players all over it. Everybody in the crowd going up for a foul there. But the Seychens come away with it. That touch is a little heavy. Tigers will have some time here and will hoof it away. Out for a throw. Gain some yardage. Put it away. So throw in here for the Seychens, but they've lost it. Tigers come away. Good chance out wide. That's... Stafford on the ball, it's blocked and that is a throw. Throw in for the Tigers inside the Pomona Pizza half. Controlled by the Tigers. Just looking to rebuild again on the left, good block, crucial block. And that's blocked again by Trinity. So a throw for Pomona Pizza on that far side, deep in their own half. Got a happy LAFC fan there in the crowd. As the ball played back and allowed to clear. They'll at the very least get some yardage. They might get a play out of this. They do as the missed clearance. Needs support though. Finds it out right, right. Good run here in space. Cuts inside. Good ball through the crowd. But the strength of the Tigers defense quizzed away. Another big gap between defense and attack. But the ball falls favorably for the Tigers. With Molly Sheridan on it. She played it back. But now, say chance on the ball. Good opportunity for the Tigers, of course. Blocked away. Say Chen's again on the ball. Blocked by the Tigers again. Throw in for the Say Chen's. 
Trinity readying a change here. Taylor Campbell getting ready to come on. Sachens have it right along the sideline. Swung into the box. If they let it bounce, it could be trouble, but well gathered. And they'll play it out. And so, long run here from Abby Schneider. Schneider on the ball. Given a lot of space to run. She still has space to run. Nobody's stopping her. She plays it forward. Offside. All that time, and she plays it to an offside player. That's frustrating. Say Chen's are going to ready a substitution as well. Melanie Eng getting ready to come on. Ball just played beyond the intended target of Charlotte Tap, but it will come off for the Say Chen's anyway. Tap running forward again. Ball going out wide. It's too soft that time. It's out for a throw. And so we will see those subs. So Melanie Eng, sophomore defender from Glendale, comes on. And then Taylor Campbell, sophomore midfielder from Edinburgh, Texas, on for the Tigers. She scored in the last regular season game of the season for Trinity. Throw in from Pomona Pizza. A lot of space to make that throw. A lot of space to make that turn as well. Played in. Good one-touch football. Little chip over the top, but goes right to the keeper. Needs someone running onto that to cause some problems for the keeper. Nothing doing there. Keeps it 1-1. But really good one-touch football. Running those triangles. You hear coaches a lot talk about triangles. That's what we talk. That's what they talk about. One touch creates a triangle for the player to run onto the ball. Good work. And so Trinity now trying to build something. Pressure. Pomona Pizza trying to trying to not let them out. Cleared away by the Sage Hands. Tigers get back on the ball. Played out wide left for Kira Stafford. Stafford out wide. Can swing it in. Is support. Beats the defender to the light of the crowd. Swung into the middle. Appeals for a penalty, but it is a corner. Nothing really there. You've got to let defenders defend. If you've got to call those a penalty, everything's going to be a penalty. Right decision for me. As we have a corner. We'll have a look at the replay, though. Swung into the box. Yeah, not much in that. Not enough in that for me, that's for sure. That's corner. Bit of pressure there for Alana Wickham, but nothing doing there. Corner comes down the hill. Really good defense, almost like a field hockey corner there. They rush out. They all get on the ball. They clear it away. That's the most important thing, clearing it away. Don't worry about possession. Off the corners, make sure you don't let them score. Of course, Trinity did score off corner in the conference championships. As they will regather and build out left. That's Bosco. She plays it out. The switch happens. Tigers on the ball again. Wide right. Campbell. Taylor Campbell cuts inside. Gets the ball in the middle of the box. Attempted to turn here from Bosco. She'll have to play it back. Wickham's touch is heavy. And that allows the Sage Hens to clear. Trinity keep the ball in play, though. Well cut out by the Sage Hens defense. A chance to build something, but they've hoofed it away. I don't know if I like that from the Sage Hens. They've done their best work when they've built up. Hoofing it away, they just haven't really got on the end of it. Poor ball, well read. Easily cut out by Prosnitz. And a good chance here. She's offside, though. The through ball trying to find Charlotte Tapp, who was offside. She doesn't need to be. She's a speedy player, Charlotte Tapp. Doesn't need to get that lead. She could make the run and probably still beat her defenders with that speed she has. But doesn't come off for it. And so a clearing opportunity here for Trinity. Swung away. Headed down by Pomona Pizza. There's a challenge coming. Does well. Good work there from Amanda Koo. To get on the end of it. She doesn't have a lot of support. She's going to have to go back. She tries for the switch. Comes off perfectly. Really beautifully weighted ball to find Hannah Hong. But they do play it back anyway. And Pomona Pitzer will run up the right. Really well picked out there. 
by Molly Sheridan. She'll look to play it forward. It's just a little beyond the players. And the Seychens will get a ball back. Looking to find the runner out wide. Cut out by Wallace. Wallace back on the ball. Plays it out for Sheridan. Sheridan with runners left. Ball tried to find Wickham, but it was much too soft. She'll get the ball back again. Finds Wickham. Wickham on the ball. Looks to play it through. The touch is missed, but it doesn't matter. It falls through for the Sagens. Good ball. Finds Ku. Ku plays it square for Hasama. It's cleared away by Trinity. It is a throw, and so there will be a sub for the Sage Hens. That is Darlin coming on. Freshman forward from Portland, Oregon. Did play on the Portland Thorns Academy, who of course just won the NWSL title. And then Hannah Kim will be coming on as well. Senior defender from Irvine. Home of the defending USL Championship champions, Orange County. Won't be this year's champions, of course. Final on tomorrow. Tigers running it up the left. Swung into the box. But nobody running onto it. Easy take there for Maurice. After that frantic start, the game feels slow right now. But it's, it's really not. It's just slow in comparison to a goal. Two goals in a minute. That's a decent run. Good idea. Good run there from Hannah Hong. She does get on the end of it. Gets the def ball off of Isla Newland. Did well to get on the end of it. But it ended up falling for the Sage Hens. Controlled. Cleared away by the Tigers. They were looking again for Charlotte Tapp. So it goes all the way back to the keeper. Good touch, good control. Plenty of space to turn for Melanie Eng. She'll play it back again. They have players out right. There's the run in the middle of his trap. Sorry, tap. Tigers, 10 shots to eight. It's been an even contest. Tries to play the through ball, cleared away by the Tigers. They will control here. Oh, Everts. Everts wins the contest, but it's controlled well by Hasama. Hasama plays forward for Prosnitz. It's cleared away. Good turn there. Good work from Eng. Play through quite away by Trinity. I thought she may have come back from offside, but it's hard for me to see at this angle. I'm pretty flat. So it can be difficult for me to see those angles. Seychen's preparing a line change. Players trying to stay warm in front of me. It is cold. And so here come those changes. So we have Hannah Kim coming on. Taryn Kaneko and Angeli Nugali. And for Trinity as well, they've made a sub. That is Hannah Khan coming on. She's had a solid impact throughout the year. So throw in for the Seychens on that far side in the attacking third, level with the box. Challenge there from Stafford. Swung into the box, easily headed away. Good challenge here, good chance for a shot. It's blocked and that will go out for a corner. Good shot there. Well blocked by Trinity. Good football all rounds. So we get a look at this replay. Just inside the box and a good block just sticking out the leg enough to send it away from trouble. Out for a corner. So good opportunity here for the Sage Hens at 1-1. 21 minutes to play. 1-1 here. NCAA first round. Corner will come in. Swung out to the penalty area. Well headed clear by the Tigers. Seychens will look to recycle quickly. The touch is heavy, but she does well to get on top of it. And a foul is called. Yeah, just got a little too much on it. Got the player and the ball. Doesn't matter if you get the ball if you also get the player. 
Say Chen's already another substitution. That's Shay Refert. Getting ready to come on. Tries to stay warm here on the sidelines. It's, it's especially cold over here, I feel like. So, good chance here for the Sage Heads to swing it into the box. Plays at edge of the area. Trinity just get enough bodies on it. Thought she was going to shape for the bicycle there for a second. That would have been spectacular, but it's cleared away by the Tigers. Sage Heads regather just inside their own half. We'll play it in the middle. That's the right decision for me. Does the switch. Good switch. No. That might be my fault. My bad. <laughs> Thought it was a good switch. Just played on. Trinity tries to play quickly, but they're making subs. They are also making a change. So Cassie Bowers back in. She's had a strong impact. Shea Reefer on for Pomona Pizza. And then I just saw another sub going in. Aaron Heath. Fresh movie filler from Lake Jackson. Controlled by the Tigers off the throw, but they've run out of space and they've lost possession. Throw in for Pomona Pizza. Throw in a little hard, made that catch a little harder than it needed to be, and gives up possession for the Tigers. So Tigers regather, but they give it straight back. Say turns back on the ball. There's a chance on the run. Finds a runner right. Had to cut a run because of an offside. Played in through the middle. She could turn and shoot, but defendant gets back well. Bowers tries to clear it's blocked, but the clearance will come. Good turn there from Sheridan to release the play. Good chance on the counter here for Trinity. The numbers are back. Doesn't have much support. She cuts around a defender. Good run here from Hannah Khan. Fresh legs. But it's blocked. Sage Hens will get it away just a little. Khan shepherds it over the line for a Trinity throw. Sheridan swung in. That's going to go long. No, Trinity will keep it in. Played back for Everts. Everts cuts it into the box. They've allowed it to bounce in the box. Shot is going to go over the bar. That's concerning. Can't let the ball bounce in the box like that. Got to get bodies in the way. Fortunate nobody was running onto that for the Tigers. Stays 1-1. 18 minutes to play here. Trinity 1. Pomona Pizza 1. I'm Chris Hockman. Thank you for joining us. Bit of confusion there from the keeper. She sends it out. Bounces over the top. Controlled well by Koneko. Call of time. She used all of it. Good contest there, but the Seychens will regather. Cleared away by Trinity into the middle. Bowers running onto that. Bowers gathers, plays it back for Everts. Everts under pressure, but the Tigers will keep possession. Have to go back into their own half. Finds Wallace. Reese Wallace on the ball now. Looking to find Sheridan, but can't do so. Or Stafford, I should say. Seychens will rebuild. No foul there, or ball. Referee says she fell on the turn. It's a ball find Stafford. That's going to run, and it will be a throw-in for Pomona Pizza. Tigers getting the ball back here. It's been a contest. It's been very competitive. Every ball. As the Sagehead's making good run there. Really strong work from Koneko. Good run. Looks to find the player out wide left. But it's cleared away. She's fallen on the ball. Gets up. Prosnitz on the ball. Shot. Tries to find the keeper. Oh, she was out of position. Scrambles back. Gets the ball. But danger signs there for Trinity. Just absolutely caught Lauren Lewis out there. Completely caught her out. She got across well in the end. Made the save. Kept the ball in front of her, which is important as a goalkeeper. Keep the ball in front of you. Parry it down. There's not much pressure on. She's able to keep hold of that. But wow. Pomona Pitzer nearly caught the Tigers. <laughs> nearly caught the Tigers out there. A 
as they play it left. Tigers cut it. Shot! Just over the bar. Decent effort. Pep will show up, but she got two under it. Let's have a look at the replay. Oh, was a replay of the earlier effort. This is the replay of the uh, shot from Pomona Pizza. She was scrambling, but she does well. Keeps her whole body in front of the ball. And now let's look at that Trinity shot. Jeez, confident work from the keeper. I think she had it covered. Definitely saw it was going over the bar. She lets it go. Been a few subs. Headed away. Tigers get possession. Blocked. And now Pomona Pizza on the run up the left. Continuing run from Nagali there. But instead opts for the already advanced Mandel. She'll look to square it, but Trinity get in the middle of it and clear it away. Trinity now again, wide right. Looking to turn the Sage Hens. Get a shot away there. On the turn, caught everybody by surprise, including myself. As the shot goes out for a goal kick. Here with 14 minutes to play. Trinity 1, Pomona Pizza 1. Just a reminder, if this is level at full time, we will go to two 10-minute periods of overtime. No golden goal in the NCAA tournament. And then if still level, we go to penalties. Plays on the ball. Swung out. That's going to be a throw for Pomona Pizza. So a good little run here for the Sage Hens to gain control. Nagali's strong, good runner, but it goes out for a throw for the Tigers here. Taken up the line. Tries to find Bailey Meyer, but can't do so. It's going to go out for a throw for the Tigers again. And again, it's Newland on it. Plays the same play. This time it comes off for the Tigers. Good turn, plays it back, finds Stafford, Sheridan. Sheridan swings it out wide for Campbell. Swung in, stays in, well headed, clear. Can't be offside, of course, because she's the player that swung it in. Will be a throw. Edge of the area. Throw for Trinity. Tigers throw it short. They'll gather it here. Ball goes to no one in particular. It's cut out well by Prosnitz. She'll send it long. Again to nobody in particular. Kira Stafford's there left. Instead, they opt to go into the middle for Heath. Played into the middle and it's blocked and cleared away by the Seychelles defense. And it is a throw now for the Tigers. Over the top, well gathered. By Hannah Khan, cleared away though by the Sage Hens, who will slow things down a little bit to let runners get forward. Smart move. Don't need to run the counters quickly. Sometimes you need to hold up and wait, let players make the run. In the end, the switch doesn't come off. The block there could be crucial. It's going to allow Nugali to get on that. She plays it back for Veneziano. Veneziano returns the favour. Nugali, it's just a little long. Blocked. That's multiple deflections. A decision for the assistant to make a throw for the Sage Hens. Pomona Pizza having a good little spell here. Ball played forward. Oh, they've let it run. Maybe could have got on that. Allows the keeper to claim it. She'll stall for time. Let them run onto it and claim possession there. And we'll clear here. John Lewis sends it long. Ball has 
bounced. Maya can't control, so the Seichens will get the first meaningful possession here. Swings it out wide right, but it's just too far. Just couldn't angle the run enough. And we will have two substitutions, one either way. It's going to be Emily Hayes coming on for Trinity. And for Pomona Pizza, Charlotte Tapp coming on. She's been involved in a lot today. Really strong work. And throw comes for the Tigers. Blocked. Will be another one for Trinity. They'll go again. Played up the line. They're going for that play where they try and throw it over the defender. I think Pomona Pitts has wisened up to it now. Swung into the middle. Nobody can get control straight away, but the Sage Hens come away with it. Played long. Good opportunity if she could get on the end of this. Forces the defender to clear it out. Reese Wallace had to get on the end of that. Couldn't get good enough control, so she's put it out for a corner. Dangerous opportunity here for the Sage Hens. As we enter the final 10 minutes of regulation here. Still nodded at one. So if we're still level, it's going to go to overtime. Corner kick here for Pomona Pizza. At 1-1. One, one. Swung in. In the middle of the box. Good ball, far post. Finds Prosnitz. Gets the shot away, comes back to her, but she puts it out wide. For a goal kick, really good opportunity there for Pomona Pizza. Too many Tigers players in the way, though. So the Sage Hens miss out and stays 1-1. Clearing opportunity here for the Tigers. Looks like they are going to go long with it. Sends it long. Pomona Pizza get on the end of that ball. Plays it forward, finds Hannah Mandel. The support cleared away by the Tigers. But still, Pomona Pizza Ball still in a dangerous position, edge of the area. Plays it forward. I don't know if Mandel can run onto that. She gets on there, plays it out, but claimed by the keeper. So we stay at 1 1. Another clearing opportunity for Trinity. Has Emily Hayes right, decides to go over the top. Played down by Hannah Khan. Hannah Khan finds Bowers, who turns her defender, but then loses out. High press there from Trinity. It's cleared away. Tigers, though, back on the ball on the left with Stafford. It's dealt with, though. The Sage Heads will play it forward. Strong defense. It's cleared through the middle. Nagali looks to beat her defender. It's deflected, but she'll regain it. Cuts into the middle. There's a shot, but it's blocked and allows Trinity to clear. Stafford turns. Finds Khan. Bowers can't get on the end of that and it'll allow the Sage Hens another opportunity. Play through the middle, but just a little heavy. And that's going to allow Lauren Lewis to easily claim possession. And another relieving opportunity for Trinity, but this has been a heck of a passage here for Pomona Pizza. Really working hard. Both teams reading subs too, so next time the ball goes out, we will have some. Tigers running up left. Can't get that in. That's going to go out for a throw. We will have those subs. So for the Sage Hens, we've got Summer Hasama coming on and Kelsey Shintaku. She did really well. Both of them did really well after coming on. And Maya Azimi coming on. She did score the winning penalty against Pomona Pizza last year. Might be looking for another really big impact here. The Tigers forced back. Strong defending there from the Sage Hens. It's cleared away again. Tigers back on the ball. All the outfielders in. Strong run here from Shintaku. Just off the bench. Really looking to put the pressure on. Dropped by Newland. Newland plays it back. Runners left. Going to play the through ball. Looking to find her. But can't find Stafford. Goes out for a throw. 
playing it quickly to say Chens. Great little ball there. Plays it around the defender. Played through Azimi. Sorry, not Azimi there. I thought it was Azimi. It's, it's Sheridan trying to run onto that. And now a lot of space. Played in the middle. More space. Another beautiful little one-touch triangle there. Played back out. The run continues. It's another good run. But the flag is up. So in the end, not a good run. Offside. So the Tigers will clear here. Let's have another look at that through ball. Yeah, Pilsner offside, right decision. Chip went high anyway from Kelsey Shitaku. Fresh legs, she's pacey. Doesn't need to cheat. Doesn't need to cheat that space. Can just wait and beat the players. Another frustrating one. It's one that you feel didn't need to be given away. Tigers still on the ball. So Seychens with a chance to clear here. They do so. And will actually gain control. Tigers swarming. Gets the ball. And the Tigers will rebuild from the left. Pressure comes. Forces the mistake. Gets a throw. Just inside their own half for the Seychens. Substitution being made here. Isla Birch coming back on. Junior Ford from Orinda. Throw in for Pomona Pizza. Send in the middle. Pressure comes. Good pressure there from Everts. But in the end, Seychens will regather the ball anyway. Turns. Plays it out wide left. But she comes back from an offside position. So after zero offsides in the first half, the numbers are stacking up here in the second. Seychens regather a waste there for Trinity. It does force them back, but that's about it. That was a good opportunity to build something. Maya Zimi pushes pressure on. Seychens play it back. Good switch of play. Really good switch of play. They got Shintaku again here left. They go into the middle. Just beats the defender's outstretched leg. And so Prosnitz on it again. There's another runner right. She's going to take the shot on herself. Wrong decision for me. You've got to run her out wide right. Opportunities. Three minutes to play. Still 1-1 one, one here, NCAA first round. So yeah, you've got to run around wide right who could really get a cross in that could cause problems there. Shot for me, the wrong choice. She gets under the ball anyway. Sends it over the bar. So it keeps it 1-1. One, one. But looking more likely that Pomona Pitts are going to come away with this at the moment. Having the better chances here at this stage. So I throw in here for the Tigers. Just over the head of Maya Azimi. Good ball finds Shintaku. Set long, cleared away by the Tigers. Two and a half minutes to go in regulation. If we're still level, we go to two 10 minute extra time periods. Throw in comes. Pomona Pitts are looking to build something here. Good touch from Tap. Trinity don't let it turn. Out wide, there's a chance for the shot. It's out the keeper. She saves well. Puts it out for a corner for Pomona Pizza. Prostitutes again with a good effort from distance. But a good save. Keeps it 1-1. One, one. Let's have another look at the replay here. Yeah, did want to get across. It was just at the right level for a goalkeeper. Because they've put it right kind of middle, which makes it easy for the keeper to save. Doesn't have to go up, doesn't have to go high. Just has to kind of move to the side, dive in, get the ball. Too many to Trinity bodies in the way there. Ball swung back in, far post, another block. Another opportunity for Bona Pizza, it's off the post. It's in, but it's not going to count because the flag is up. She's offside. So it won't count, that's unfortunate. You've got to stay onside for those. We'll have another look at the replay here. As we have a look. Yeah, brilliant work from the Trinity defence. Everybody goes up and catches the three players who just aren't paying enough attention to the defensive line. Catches them offside. Really good refereeing from the assistant there. Those ones can be tough to call when it happens so quickly. But it's good work. Offside. The right decision. It stays 1-1. Ball goes out for a throw. 
as we enter the final minute of play here. If a goal is not found in the next 43 seconds, we are going to go to overtime. Gathered in. Azimi turns. Played a little soft, but finds Everts. Everts has to go back for Richards. It's looking like Trinity are going to be pretty content to send this to overtime. Controlled. Challenge. Looking together. That's a foul. Handball is the decision from the referee. 20 seconds is not going to be enough time. Appeals for a yellow for delay of game, but... It's down the line. There's a throw. And so there we go. It's full time here at Paul McGinley Field. Trinity won. Pomona Pizza won. We are going to overtime just like we did last year between these two teams. It's the exact same score as well. 1-1. One, one. We go to overtime between these two. So five minute break before we go to before we go to overtime. They'll do a coin toss again, just like at the start of the game, to determine who's going to kick off, which direction we're going in the first half. And it will be two 10-minute periods of overtime. So two 10-minute extra time periods. No golden goal anymore. So if we are level, if a goal is scored, the players will keep playing. Perhaps get a goal back. But let's have a look at some chances here. There's that first goal. Bounces down over the line. It flies in. Down off the post. Well and truly over the line. There's the equaliser for Trinity. Just really beautiful curl on the ball. Gets it past the keeper. She does well. Gets a good touch on it, but she can only parry it in the post. And then here's the offside. As you can see, if you look, the assistant gets his flag up straight away for the offside. It's actually really good work from Trinity. They do well. They pull forward. Catching three players offside. Didn't even need to check who had the touch. It was everybody. Everybody was offside. So we got to overtime. I think Pavona Pizza will feel they've got the momentum here. Had a lot of the ball late. They put the ball in the back of the net too. Put the ball into the back of the net, but offside. Really good work from Trinity to catch that out. Sometimes it's what you have to do. Let's catch somebody off. So let's have a look at the stats at the end of regulation. 16 shots to 10. Pomona Pizza really turned that around in the second half. They were well behind in the first half. Five shots on goal to four. All of those coming in the second half, I believe, for Pomona Pizza. Three saves to four. Ten fouls to three. Those are stacking up. I am a little astounded we haven't seen a yellow card in this match yet. One offside to four. Of course, one of those four offsides was the disallowed goal. Six corners to four. That count has evened up here in the second half so we will be back so we have two and a half minutes as the teams gather i'm just going to take a little sip of a drink it's been a lot of yelling for the past 90 minutes but we'll be back on in a few minutes
All right, welcome back, everybody. I've had a bit of a sip of a drink, so I am ready to go. I hope you're all ready to go for another 20 minutes. So just as a reminder, I know I've said this a million times, and I am probably going to say it another million times. No golden goal. So I know during the regular season we play golden goal. We're now into the postseason. We're in the NCAA tournament. No golden goal. If a team scores, they do not necessarily win. We've seen plenty of it happen this season. We've seen plenty of conference championships where a team scored in overtime and then went on to lose the game. So that, I think, vindicates the decision to get rid of Golden Goal. It's led to some attacking soccer. Been really entertaining stuff. This game has been a really entertaining game. 1-1 one, one as we head to overtime. Two goals within a minute to send us here. A chip over the keeper down, off the bar, and well and truly in as we start the second half. Sorry, the first half of overtime. The third half of the game? I don't know. <laughs> first half of overtime. Underway, 10 minutes aside. So a little less than you'll see in the World Cup in a few weeks. But it's still the same game. So it's Trinity all white. They're going from right to left. And Pomona Pizza all blue going from left to right. Good control here from the Seychelles. Played back. Swung, but into the middle. The only place where there wasn't a Seychen player there to receive it. Control. Play back to the keeper. Tigers staying on the ball. We'll look to play it down the right. It's cut out. Good cut out there. Good pass forward. Allowed to turn. Played back. Good run back there from Hannah Khan to recover it for the Tigers, but the heavy touch might just put it out. It's still in. So, whole of the ball has to cross the whole of the line. You can see that ball was still on the line. So, no foul. No throw in awarded, but it doesn't matter. Seychelles come away with it. Certainly a heavy deflection there from the Seychelles. And a throw in. Really good work to win that battle. Throw in for the Seychelles. Deep, deep in Trinity's half. Thrown in, played back to the throw-in taker. So one tactic you can do on that throw is uh, pull forward when they play it back to the defender there offside. Shot, but it's right at the keeper. So with a throw-in, you can't be offside, but one thing you can do as a defensive team is immediately pull forward because that play it was always going to go back to the throw-in taker. You pull forward there offside. Didn't happen there, though. Tigers on the ball. Played wide left, but can't find Kira Stafford. Runs out of space. And it's a throw in for Pomona Pizza over the top. Looks to find Mendel, but in the end, the Tigers come away with it. Played forward, played up the middle. Tigers control. That's Wickham. Goes down under the pressure, but fairly, says the referee. Pomona Pizza now on the ball. Played down the right. Reese Wallace will shepherd that. Back to the keeper. And they'll do a little one touch, two touch, and move out. In some space here. Played into the middle. Slow switch of play. They have runners going forward. Wickham was trying to make a run forward as well. In the end, it's short of Wickham. It's played out. Controlled by the Sage Hands now. There's a runner left. But it's just it's played in the middle of both of them. They both freeze, thinking the other's gonna get that and they're gonna have something to deal with. In the end, it doesn't happen. Sage Hands now. Shot! Blocked. Powerful shot. You could hear the noise that came off the defense. Sage Hands on it again. That's tap. But it's going to go through for the keeper. So we are still knotted at one. Six and a half minutes to play. Tigers readying a sub here. Abby Schneider getting ready to come on. Sage Hens will play it around the referee. It's going to go out for a throw. 
for Pomona, for the Tigers. And that will allow Abby Schneider what? to come on. Sophomore forward from Albuquerque, New Mexico. As we're going to look at this earlier chance. Yeah, from distance, that's blocked. Those hurt, especially in the cold. Those are, those are unpleasant at the best of times. But in the cold, those sting a little bit extra. So controlled here. Pomona Pizza trying to gather it. And they will get a chance with the foul now to, to build something. Referee tells them to send it back. Of course, with 15 minutes left, these little distances matter. Marked by the assistant to help him out. Again, a good example that they're assistant referees, not just running the line to call throw-ins and offsides. Played back. Tigers can't keep it in a throw-in for Pomona Pizza. They take advantage of the player being out of position, and they'll run left. Good turn around the defender, but good recovery forces it to turn back. We'll switch it across, but it's played just too far beyond, and the Tigers will recover. That is Bosco. Bosco plays it out wide right. And another good opportunity for the Tigers. Are they going to try and swing in early? No, she uses the pace to try and beat the defender, but she can't do so. He's going to run out of space there. And that is out for a goal kick. Just had to keep running. So she kept running and running and running because of the strong defense. Stayed goal side, kept her out wide. And she just completely ran out of space. Didn't have enough space to shape the ball back in. Puts it out for a goal kick, but now Trinity will have a throw. Thrown in by the Tigers, but deflected back out. Another throw for Trinity. Four minutes to go. First half of extra time. Swung in. Header by Pomona Pitzer. Tigers gather. But good work defensively from Pomona Pizza. Unfortunately, doesn't come off. Really good recovery. Chance for a through ball. Not taken. Wickham's in the middle. It's blocked. And Pomona Pizza will clear. Played through. Good ball, but they need runners that aren't coming in time. And it's cleared away by the Tigers into the crowd. It's got to be said, decent crowd there on the far side as the Sage Hens. We'll make three. We'll make two changes. That's what I get for reading the numbers as I talk about it. So, Hannah Kim, sorry, Ella Endo, back in there, and Hannah Hong, also on. You see Eliana Prosnitz off. They'll probably be off for the rest of the half. Three minutes to play. Catch a breather. Of course, in uh, NCAA, we do take a break between the two. It's sent in. Long, well gathered by Lauren Lewis. We're getting a look at this. It's a decent idea. They scored off the chip, don't forget. So attempts to chip Lewis again. This time she's up to it. Brings the ball down, clutches it to a chest, and it stays 1 1. Cut out well, but it's a foul, says the referee. Decent, e decent effort from Emily Hayes to gather that in. Swung across. Controlled by the Seychens out left. Cuts in a little. There's a runner left. If she can spot it in time, she does. Good turn. But well covered by the Tigers. Standing strong. Standing goal side. Wickham sends it out wide right. Just keeps it in. No. Ends up running out of space. That goes out for a throw-in for Pomona Pizza. It is still end-to-end. -end. They've played now almost 100 minutes of soccer. It is a throw-in for Pomona Pizza. The crowd doesn't like it. That one guy really doesn't like it. But it is a throw-in for Pomona Pizza. Swung in. Can't gather it, but it comes out anyway for Veneziana. Back for Veneziana. Ball comes out. Chances here. Good passing, good turn. Played in again. Shot blocked by the Tigers. That's putting your body on the line. Player out right. It's been missed by Trinity. 
with the Tanner Hong fresh on. That is a corner for the Seychens as we hit the final minute of the first minute here. Let's have a look at this effort. Yeah, sticks a leg in. Both players going all in there. Taylor Venenciano with the shot. I believe that was Hannah Khan with the block. Just left a leg and thigh out. Cops the hit, but keeps it out. Swung in, it bounces in the box, but it's bounced over the leg. And now a chance on the counter for the Tigers. There's a big run here. But it's just played beyond Bosco making the run as it goes back for a throw in for the Seychelles. It's an awkward clearance from the keeper, but it comes out for the Seychelles. Tigers get on it. Maybe, maybe one last chance, but there's not much time. They've got to get it in the box quickly. Wickham plays it forward, looks to find Sheridan. Keeper comes. Good work from the defender to keep the attacking player in two minds. Keeper's going to hold on to this. It doesn't matter. And it's going to go to the second period of extra time at 1-1. So there we go. Two minutes now. In, uh, in the World Cup, they're supposed to turn around. They never do. They stand around and talk for two minutes anyway. In NCAA, we don't pretend. We know everybody's going to stand around and talk for two minutes about it. And so we go to the second half of extra time, level at one, as we get a beautiful shot of the San Antonio skyline. See Tower of America's there in the distance with the purple. Purple lights on it. Let's get a look at the stats here as we enjoy the skyline of San Antonio. 20 shots to 10. So Pomona Pitts are definitely getting the bulk of the shots there in the first half of overtime. One, so five shots on target each now. So that shot stat has evened up massively. Four saves apiece, 12 fouls to three. That is a notable stat, and it's incredibly notable because there hasn't been any yellow cards yet. One offside to four, six corners to four in favor of Trinity, but nobody's done much with the corners. Players getting ready to come back on in about a minute. So again, no golden goal. We will keep going. There used to be very briefly this thing called silver goal, where if it was a goal and you played to the end of the first half of extra time and then it would be over. I like that we just play extra time like it's a normal game now. It's so again, if we are level, we will go to penalties. Scores right now tied at one. This is exactly where we were one year ago between these two teams. A 1-1 draw. As the teams get ready. To head to, to, head to the second half of overtime. There goes the buzzer. And so we will have another 10 minutes. Teams making a couple changes as we had it head into the final 10 minutes. So 10 minutes to play. While it's not golden goal, a, a goal would almost certainly win as we get a nice view again of the San Antonio skyline in the background of Paul McGinley Field as we come in to Paul McGinley Field here for the second period of extra time. Trinity won, Pomona Pizza won. Winner advances to face the winner of Mary Harden Baylor and Pacific Lutheran, which will be the next game if you want to stick around. As we have kickoff, Pomona Pizza beats everybody, even beat their own player. Nearly a fortunate bounce to fall for Isla Birch. Doesn't come off, and the Tigers will make a run up the right. Hannah Khan can't get on the end of that. It's cleared away. Tigers will look together. There's just not much time on the ball, and I think both teams have been used to having more time on the ball in their conference play. Now that we've gotten to the NCAA tournament, Quality's a bit higher. Just much less time on the ball. And so, Sage Hens will build again. Out wide right. Plays through the middle. A missed challenge and a good run into the box. That looked like Charlotte Tap making the run in, but the Tigers deal with it and clear it away. 
Good touch, good shape. Tries to trigger that she's going to play it in. Draws the defender there. Anna Wickham. And Wickham loses out again. Played right, but it's soft, which means they can't immediately cross it back in. Swung into the box now. Keeper has control. Good call. You can hear a call. She calls off her defenders, gathers the ball, and will clear it away. Hoofed queer. Well over halfway. Ball bounces. And Trinity turn. Hannah Khan, but she can't find the player forward. I believe she was looking for Molly Sheridan there. Tigers on the ball play it down the line. But Khan's not running onto that. That's going to run out. And that's going to be a goal kick for the Sage Hens. Crowd getting loud here. I'm not just saying that because I'm next to the bench. The crowd on the opposite side of the field is getting loud as well. A really good contingent of Sage Hens fans here. I'm sure we got plenty more of you watching on the stream. Pleasure to have you. I'm Chris Hockman here. 1-1. One, one. Eight minutes to go. Trinity on the ball. Played out wide right for Abby Schneider. Schneider looks to beat her defender, standing strong. Blocked, but Schneider gets it back. They double-team her and they'll get it clear. And controlled down, but the touch is heavy. That's unfortunate. Got to do better than that. Tigers will throw it. Brought down by Hannah Khan. Hannah Khan finds Schneider, but the defense is too strong, but she does force them to put it out for a throw. So a decent effort there. And it will be a throw in. For the Tigers. So throw in into the box. Easily dealt with by the game hens. Wickham sends it forward. Keeper comes and claims it. Keeps the scoreless. Trinity having the better of the first few minutes of this half. Cleared away. Heavy control and that's going to allow the Sage Hens to get away. Prosnitz on the ball, sends it long. Maybe a crucial intervention there. Strong work from Bailey Meyer, I believe. No. Strong work from the Trinity defence. Sage Hens on the ball. Going wide right now. There's runners in that direction. Played forward, Sage Hens fans on the far side want to foul. Tigers clear it out. It will run, well shepherded by the Game Hens defender there. Sorry, Sage Hens. Get those team names right. They're the only team in the world that uses it. Let's quit around. Blocked away. So the Sage Hens working on the ball here. Plays it out. But it's going to be easily cut out by Schneider. Schneider turns a few times. Plays it back again. Good pressure coming here from Charlotte Tapp. Forced the mistake. Charlotte Tapp deserves a lot of credit for that. She forced the mistake. We're going to have a substitution here for Pomona Pizza. Ella Endo coming on. Senior midfielder from Minneapolis. The cold won't bother her at all. This is a summer day for Minneapolis. She was SCIA all academic. Cold really won't bother her. She was in the Nordic skiing team in high school. Sage Hens, just patient. I think they've done their best work from the back when they've been patient with it. Cleared away over everybody. So I said they've done the best when they've been patient with it. They rush something, force a clearance, and goes away. So Trinity with a throw. Thrown into the box. Sage Hens get up. It is a foul. Yeah, so call there is that the is that the other player walks in, gets under the player and takes her out. That's the decision. We'll have a look at the replay here, and we'll see it. So yeah, basically no intention of playing the ball is the decision that she has. No intention of playing the ball. She's just trying to sweep the player out. And she does that, but it's a foul. So we're in the last half of this half. Under five minutes to play. That's gone long. Headed away by the Trinity defense. They'll want to keep this in. Played back. Pressure coming, but good football from the Tigers as we go up the wing. One touch football. Turn, they've done too much of it. But the switch isn't very good. It allows Schneider to capitalize. Really good work though from Evelyn Hasama to qual to recover for her defense. Ball is thrown in Trinity playing quick football. 
Slips on the turf. No, a foul is the decision from the referee. And that's kicking the ball away. That is going to be a yellow card. So a yellow card there for Abby Schneider. Clock does stop. A yellow card there. You can't kick the ball away. So that's the decision made there. It's an easy decision for the referee. Can't kick the ball away like that. She heard the whistle. There's no defending it. So it's a yellow card. We'll have a look at this chance from earlier. Good defense. Yeah, she might have just clipped her, actually. From my angle, looked like she might have fallen on the turf, but no, clipped her. Not a yellow card for the challenge, though. A yellow card for kicking the ball away. Gets the better of her defender now. A chance for the Sage Hens. Shot. It's blocked, but it's fallen favorably. The shot, though, is over the bar. Fell favorably for Evelyn Hasama. She did well to get on the end of it. And so a relieving goal kick, three and a half minutes, still 1-1. One, one. We'll have a look at this chance. Great run from Hasama. It fell favorable before her, but the bounce just took it up. So she got under the ball when she really wanted to get under it. And so that sent it over the bar. And now Trinity back on the ball. Played out wide for Schneider. Schneider plays it into the middle. It's heavy. Not enough communication there for me. Two Trinity players running on it. Wickham plays it inside. Played over the top of everybody. That's going to go out for a throw for Pomona Pizza. But dangerous chance there. Hannah Khan and Alana Wickham both lurking. Three minutes left. Penalties looming now. Pomona Pizza with a chance to get things going. Playing up the wing, but I think that's going to run out of space. Nearly barreled into the assistant. Good work from the assistant to just duck back and stay out of the way. Because he may have ended up on the turf there. So I throw in for Trinity. Controlled. And gathered. Tigers will work it forward. Controlled by Hannah Khan. Hannah Khan still on it. Plays it back. They're looking to press. Now the run from the Tigers. Cut out. Cleared away. Two minutes to go now. Need to win this head of the Tigers. They do. And will gain a throw from that. Deflected off the Pomona player. Played for the throw. Knew she was going to run out of space. So she deflects it off the player. And it is a throw for the Tigers. They get possession on the left now. Good challenge. And it is another throw for the Tigers. Edge of the area. 90 seconds left to play. Blocked. Pomona Pizza will clear. But they've run out of space. Oh, it's deflected, I should say. And so a throw for the Tigers, for the Sage Hens. Controlled, turned. Fell on the turn, says the referee. One minute. One minute. Wickham. It's blocked away. One minute left. Ball sent long. Pressure needs to come on the keeper. It doesn't, so she's able to gather easily. Ball will be cleared. That's gone straight up. Probably snow on that. Those headers are difficult too. Gets on the end of it. Sends it forward. Trinity want to end this now. They don't want penalties. Wickham tries to gather. Schneider with a header. She will control. Edge of the area. Plays it out. But she's played it behind her teammate. So Pomona Pizza will come away with it. It's blocked. It'll stay in play. And Pomona Pizza still on the ball. Schneider looks to gather. Cuts in. But the Sage Hens will get it. Head it down. Nine, We're in the final 10 eight, seconds here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put in, but it's too late. It is going to go to penalties. So here we go. As we were one year ago, Trinity won. Pomona Pizza won. And we go. 
two penalties. Pomona Pitts are certainly prepared. They get their list of penalty takers ready. I'm sure both teams have practiced penalties. I talked to Dylan Harrison. He told me they have practiced penalties. I'm sure Pomona Pitts has as well. I do see a piece of paper that has penalty takers on it, so I'm sure that that is what that piece of paper is. And we will have a penalty shootout. Referee calling for the captains for the coin toss. I believe we are going to play on that end. Yeah, we're playing on the scoreboard end. So that's the left end. I did have a look at both spots before the game because I was uh, concerned that we might end up at this possibility, and here we are. So we are going to play on the left-hand side of your screen is where penalties are going to be taken from. And so that's where we're going to play it. So penalties, best of five. If we're still level after the five, we'll just keep going. Sudden death. And the team switch, if you were wondering. Everybody switches. So, one, 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 one. We don't do the A, B, B, A thing. It's just all one. A, B, A, B, A, B is how we play these. So, it will be... So referees calling the players in. We'll have the shootout at this far end. The, the scoreboard end. So not the first time for penalties between these two teams. It was 1-1 last year. It went to a penalty shootout. Trinity won on that occasion. Trinity won that shootout. It was Maya Azimi who scored the winner one year ago. I do see that she is on the pitch, so she could be a penalty taker now. The referee gives instructions to the goalkeeper for Trinity, Lauren Lewis. So Lauren Lewis in goal for Trinity for this shootout. I imagine it's going to be Naomi Maurice in goal for the Sage Hens. Fourth official looking to move things along here. So I'm trying to read into things, but I think Pomona is going to Pomona Pitzer is going to kick first. Wow, Pomona Pizza exploded there. 21 shots. Incredible extra time periods for Pomona Pizza. 21 shots to 10. Five on a piece, though. It's an alarming rate of missed chances. So instructions to the goalkeepers. Behave yourselves. Stay on your line. Of course, we saw a penalty shootout here last week in the SCAC semi-final. That was a dramatic one. Another dramatic one here. So remember, keepers have to stay on their line until the ball is kicked. Not when the player runs forward. So it is Trinity kicking first. 
We'll see who steps up to take it. There's Maya Azimi. Maya Azimi kicking first for Trinity. She did have the winning penalty against Pomona Pizza last year. Won't have the winning penalty this time. Because she's kicking first. Can't be the winning penalty when you go first. So Maya Azimi with the first penalty for the Tigers. Steps up, but she's put way too much on it. It's gone over the bar. You could see the emotion. That's what penalty shootouts do. They enhance the pressure. It's an already pressure packed game. So we have a look. She gets under it, way too under it. Lifts it over the bar, and we are still scoreless. And so for Trinity, so for Pomona, Pomona Pizza, it is Taylor Venenziano, senior midfielder from Honolulu, stepping up. She was a state champion in high school. Steps up to take the penalty. It's much too tame. Got to put more power behind that. It's far too easy. It's an easy save. And wow, scoreless after one. Yeah, just far too easy. Not enough power behind it. And so it will be Michaela Bosco taking the second penalty for Trinity. Did score a hat-trick in the SCAC semi-final. Has scored 19 goals this season. She will step up to take a goalkeeper moving. Oh, it's delicate. It's positioned perfectly. Sells the keeper out. Sends it the wrong way. Trinity scored the first goal of the shootout. 1-0. As we have another look here. Yeah, so keeper movement shifts. That allows Bosco to send that shot to the other way. And so it is a second shot here for Pomona Pizza. It's Genevieve Gray, senior defender. Yeah, keeper moved. Keeper moved far too early. Keeper moved far. Keeper moved far too early. And that made it an easy goal for Pomona Pizza. 1-1. One, one. Shot now. Oh, keeper got it. But it's gone through her. And it's 2-1. Oh, that's unfortunate. For Pomona Pizza. Let's get another look at this. The penalty just tried to recover. She was just going the wrong way from it. She tries to recover. She gets a hand on it, but goes wide. Reese Wallace gets that goal. And so now Hannah Mandel, she was involved a lot tonight. Do you have another shot? She scored two goals this year. And saved onto the post. What a save. It's a big save. And it keeps it 2-1 for Trinity. It's just played too close to her. She saves it, sends it wide. And so Sheridan now up. So Sheridan, she has a perfect record in her career on penalties. Three for three. As she steps up. Big moment here to make it 3-1. Just sneaks it under the keeper. Oh, she's been close on every single one. But it's just snuck under her. That is unfortunate for the keeper. It just snuck under her. And it's 3-1. So now must score territory for Pomona Pizza. And it's at the feet of Ella Endo. She shoots, it's tame, but it can't be dealt with. Really caught her out. Wasn't expecting the shot to go there. It's 3-2. And that means that if Trinity scores this goal, they will advance to the second round. Oh, 
And so the penalty falls to Josephine McRae. Scored her first collegiate goal last week. She steps up to take it. It's down off the bar and it is not over the line. No goal. Pomona Pitts has survived, but this is a must score for the Sage Hens. Powerful, it's up, it's down. On the line, no goal. And so it will be a kick here for the Sage Hens to stay alive in the NCAA tournament. And it falls to Eliana Prosnitz. She's been good. She's had a really good game. She could cap it here with a vital penalty. Shot, it's much too tame. And Trinity University claim the win with a save. 3-2 on penalties. Trinity University are through to the second round. But it's cruel for Pomona Pizza. Unfortunate on the penalties. She was close on all of them. But she couldn't hit the back of the net. She couldn't save enough of them. And it's 3-2. Trinity advance. They're going to play the winner of the next game between Mary Harden Baylor and Pacific Lutheran. But what a game. We'll have a look at this. The last penalty. It's just much too soft. Much too easy for the keeper. She's almost trying to pass it into the back of the net. So it's a simple save in the end. 3-2. Trinity University. Over Pomona Pizza, what a season it's been for Pomona Pizza. What a run they had. What a game they played. Really strong play from Pomona Pizza. They should be proud of how they played tonight. It didn't come off for them, but they should be really proud. They played really well. May have been the better side, but that's how soccer goes. Penalty shootout win. Gets the job done for Trinity. They'll advance to the second round tomorrow at 7 o'clock here. And then Pomona Pizza. Unfortunate to go out. They've been eliminated by Trinity for the second straight year. It's a cruel way to go out. But we will go. Now Trinity advance to the second round. We'll have a presentation for Pomona Pizza. They'll collect their awards for qualifying for the tournament. Trinity survive. It's survive in advance season. That's what it was there. Trinity 3, Pomona Pizza 2 on penalties after a 1-1 draw. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been Chris Hockman from everybody here. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you'll join us tomorrow. We we'll hope you'll join us in a few minutes for the next game. Same place, same channel. We'll see you then. Thank you very much. Good night. For more than 150 years, Trinity University has celebrated human inquiry. Our innovative curriculum is rooted in a distinctive blend of the liberal arts and sciences. Students and faculty hone creative curiosity by answering questions and questioning answers. 
In a supportive, interdisciplinary environment, they seek ways to build bridges and make connections. And with intentional meaning and purpose, they are driven by a sense of duty to themselves and to the world. Add in opportunities for undergraduate research, experiential learning, and nationally recognized pre-professional programs in business, communication, healthcare, education, and entrepreneurship, you get the full Trinity experience. The liberal arts plus. And while this experience may end with a Trinity degree, it's just the beginning of a lifetime of inspired exploration and perpetual discovery. I'm San Antonio Mayor Ron Nuremberg. I am a Trinity University alum, and I want you to know about my passion for these two vibrant communities. My alma mater is now a nationally recognized liberal arts university, offering fully integrated arts, humanities, STEM, and professional programs. Grounded in the liberal arts, Trinity graduates students who think critically, act meaningfully, and contribute confidently throughout their careers. As for San Antonio, Trinity is an oasis in the heart of a city that serves as a cultural bridge to the Americas. We are a diverse community that values inclusion and welcomes intellectual curiosity and spirited debate. We're a city that challenges convention and welcomes new ideas. Great things are happening at Trinity University in San Antonio and through all our connections to our multicultural world. Join me in being part of this exciting moment.